Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new Last Impressions. Today we're going to be talking about Jackie Ina. Um, there will be some talk about racial stereotypes and racism towards the end of this video because these things just happened and I had already planned on doing a Last Impressions on her. And if you're new to Last Impressions, it's just me sharing like my final thoughts on somebody while using a new product. And I'm going to kind of start where I left off um, and kind of cover a little bit of what happened between her and Petty Page and then eventually get to what's going on now. Now, I had been a huge fan of Jackie Ina. I got all of those Maybelline um, Python lipsticks because of her. I even picked up the City Mini palette, the one in collaboration with Shayla, and I actually really like it, especially this shade. Um, and so I actually saw the other day in Rite Aid this one that is called Graffiti Pop. So I was going to use this, and for the look, I'm going to try to recreate this one on the back because it looks to use um, most of, if not all, of the shadows. So if you see me looking down, I'm likely looking at where the placement <laughs> of all of these are. So that will be my first impressions of a product. I went in with Fenty Beauty. I didn't use any concealer. I tight lined with Maybelline Skinny Precise. I went in with a little Smashbox uh, contour kit. I'm likely going into the Milani T Rose blush. And I have the Roller Lash from Benefit Cosmetics. And we'll probably go with like maybe a nude kind of lip, depending on how this looks. This will be very interesting because it looks like the darkest brown is in the crease. And then we get into the purple, then the pink, then the blue with a little gold. So that'll be interesting. So I'm definitely going to put on some powder just in case we have like any fallout since I've never used this palette before. Okay. I literally had to start this video over again like three times because I started to get like so heated. Now, I used to love Jackie. Um, after P Petty Page put out a video on her not really disclosing her affiliate links, that's when I started to kind of notice like a, a bad sort of side of her because in Jackie's video, she said, you know, it's like going to buy a car and people know that, of course, she's going to get money from her affiliate links and you got to be out of your mind if you don't think that I should get paid and all this stuff when that wasn't the issue. The issue is, yeah, people our age, you know, older people like we know that you're selling us stuff, but there's a younger audience there that doesn't always know, you know. So that got on my nerves. Uh, and I actually made a video defending Jackie because um, she had used the term geisha and I didn't find her to mean it in like a racist way. So I do have a video on here defending Jackie. Um, I used to really like her. But like I said, when this stuff happened with Paige, that's kind of where it all kicked off for me. So she had come out with a video claiming that Petty Page had essentially committed international wire fraud by hacking her email, getting her bank account info, and um, making all these charges on her card. Well, <laughs> she had no proof of it. And she even said, it, oh, in the video, it was... Oh, I got so mad when she was like, and this is another woman of color. If you needed tips, I could help Jamal. You know, like she was just so condescending. So in that video, she had no receipts. Uh, Paige did, you know, Paige did reply to this. And a lot of people, it's a shame, but a lot of people still think that Paige was responsible for this. Um, she wasn't responsible for it. She sent Jackie all of her info, never heard from her. Jackie put out like this half-assed apology, just apologizing for the video, saying that like she doesn't like to be involved in the drama and she shouldn't have posted the video. Nowhere in that apology did it say, I am sorry, Paige. I know you did not do this. I was wrong to jump the gun and have like these assumptions. You know what I mean? Sorry, I'm trying to like get a little bit straighter here so yeah so I mean 
after her not an apology apology, I really just did not care for her too much at all. I felt like, oh, is that the brown color? I'm sorry. I just have to see what is going on here. Yeah, I think that gray is in like the crease. Okay. So I, um, I just was sick of her you know, and she always seemed to be like on this high horse, you know, and I'm just tired of it. So she's always been outspoken for the POC community. She has often dragged brands that have bad shade ranges. Although if you pay attention, like she mostly does that with brands that she's not affiliated with. Like Too Faced had a horrible range, but now that she's involved with them, they're coming out with deeper shades and that's okay. Um, you know, the talking shit on like Tarte, but not on this one. You know what I mean? It, she seems to kind of pick and choose which brands she's going to complain about. And that's kind of odd to me because it makes it out to seem like she only stands by her beliefs and she only cares about what's going on when she has nothing to lose, when she's not affiliated with any of these companies. So, I mean, and I'm not saying that her being a mouthpiece for the POC community is bad at all because we need that. We need people that are going to talk about how exclusive the industry is, you know? So it isn't that. It's just that I find it odd that she will give some things a really good review even though they have a bad shade range and then others she acts, you know, like it's a big deal. So I just kind of like don't understand where she's coming from in that sense. Um, In the video that... uh she had done on on page i mean it was she made it so that everybody would find out that it was page that everybody would know who it was you know and that's something that if you look at petty page if you like google her and stuff like there's still allegations like against her because Jackie, her ego would not allow her to just say, I was wrong page did not do this we have yet to hear her say that like this is just a look into the type of character that she has, you know? And a lot of other people were done with her after this, too, because they realized, you know, even people that had been stands realized that she lied about this, and that's not right, you know? You can't just go around, like, accusing people of illegal activities and, like, not express that you were wrong, you know, or that you're even sorry, you know? Okay, so it looks like this dark shade is going on the inner and outer corner. Oh, I don't know which brush I'm going to use here. So um, anyway, after this, I was just kind of a little bit done with Jackie because I just couldn't take it anymore, you know? Um, so I did this video this week about Jared Blandino and how he had, um, he had a picture on, um, oh God, I think I had too much coffee. I'm like shaky. Sorry <laughs> about how, um, or he had a, a picture that he posted with his partner where he had a cake that said rich lives matter. Now, because he was making a mockery or whoever made this cake was making a mockery out of the black lives matter movement. A lot of people wanted to know how Jackie felt because she is affiliated with two faced. Um, she, any kind of comment that she did reply to that people were, you know, asking her about totally deflected the conversation, had her usual attitude, you know, this holier than thou kind of thing. And that's the thing. Like, how is it that she can just pick and choose what matters to her, you know? And people are like, well, maybe she's under a contract and she can't say anything. I mean, it's Jackie. Like, you know how outspoken she is. I think that if she cared that much, she would say something. That's just my opinion. I'm not hating this. I hate that I dragged it up there too much. But this is the really dark purple shade. I'm kind of digging it. I'm trying not to take it in too far because I tend to do that and then I have no lid space left. So the thing with that, it did make me feel like, okay, well, she's not going to stand up 
to Jared, you know, and that leads me back to thinking like she only really talks about shade ranges and wanting inclusivity when it's going to benefit her. And when it doesn't, then she can go off, you know, about whatever brands because she has nothing to lose. And I just think that that's really sad. And if she's somebody that really cares this deeply about these issues, which I think that she does, you would think that she would have been one of the first people to call out Jared, not just be obnoxious that people were asking her about it, you know? So now that brings us to her recent tweet. She said something along the lines of, but essentially, how come white people never say, excuse me? This is the thing. <laughs> I don't think that this is a racial issue. I think that this is just a rude ass people issue. Um, I have been bumped into plenty of times by different uh, sexes, different races. They don't say that they're sorry or I'll even say excuse me when they're the ones that bumped into me. Or when you're in the grocery store and like, the person just owns that aisle and you're like, get the fuck out of my way. I just want to get my so delicious snickerdoodle ice cream. You know, it's just, it sucks. But that's like how a lot of people are, you know, they're just rude. And I just, just me personally, I don't find that to be an issue with race. I just think that people, you know, people are just jerks. They're always on their phones you know, they don't, they don't really give a shit about anything, you know? So, uh, this started this whole, uh, thread, um, about race and about how, you know, is she racist for posting this, you know, things like that. Now, I don't think that Jackie sees white people and hates them based on them being white, which is what a racist does. I don't find her to be that. However, I feel like if she is constantly this mouthpiece for the POC community, then she can't just pick and choose what she feels like standing up for. And that perpetrating like other racist like stereotypes, no matter the race, is not helpful. It's not productive. It's not going to do anything for like race relations. You know what I mean? It's just it's just not, it's not productive, you know? And, um, I can think of so many times that people are rude, you know, and it had nothing to do with their race. It just didn't. So some people were calling her out saying that she was being very racist. I don't, like I said, I just think that she kind of feels like it's okay to perpetrate other stereotypes of different races, because she's a woman of color. Now, I am not saying everybody's like that. I am white, so I'm trying to tread carefully with this subject, but it's not the first time that she's brought up, like, white people, and so it just makes me feel a little weird, you know? Like, you, you know, what does she do for her POC community in her area? Um, a lot of people that are rich, they throw money at charities all the time, but does she volunteer? Does she spend money, like, on inner city schools? Does she do anything, really, for the community, or is just this a lot of talk and not a lot of what? Walk, you know? Um, and it seems to me that there is a difference to her anyway about talking about white people in that way, you know? And like I said, I'm not saying that it is just, she's just some racist, you know? It's just that it it is not productive. It doesn't help anything. And I don't understand, you know, why she continues to do it. Now, imagine if there were a white beauty influencer that said that about black people. How would you feel then, you know? Um, I don't know. You guys are going to have to tell me below in the comments, you know? Um, do you think it's okay that she did this because she was just talking about white people? Do you think that she's racist for this? Um, I don't know. It's just, and the way that she talked to the people on her thread, like trying to shade them, making them look stupid, just like her attitude and you're on mute and all this kind of stuff. It's just so ridiculous. <laughs> so ridiculous. Now in this, I got to take what do I got to do? I did not do this right. So we're just going to go into the eyeliner. I forgot the, um, 
the purple one was just supposed to be. Oh, I have to put the purple in the inner corner too. That's what I got to do. Okay. I'm going in for the liner. So, I mean, I feel like, you know, what she did to Paige was really disgusting. And she did that to a woman of color. So where does she stand? Like what? I, I just don't understand, you know? Um, I'd love to know if she does anything to help like her community aside from like maybe throwing money at something like if she volunteers and stuff. Um, she very well could, you know, I don't know. It's just that I don't see a lot of stuff about her doing anything. Now, I'm not saying, like, me being a white person, I wasn't, like, offended or anything. I'm not saying that, like, I'm not saying that, I mean, maybe I shouldn't even really be talking about this because I'm not a person of color, but I have an opinion, you know? And when it comes to her, I just don't get it. Like, I just don't understand why some things are okay, some brands are okay. You know, it just, like, depends on what she thinks, you know, and I'd love to know, um, I'd love to know, oh my god, I really like this as an eyeliner shade, um, I would really like to know why, also, why don't we see her ever promoting any of the POC, um, beauty community of micro-influencers, you never really see her, you know, promoting a lot of the small POC, um, community or, you know, tweeting about them or supporting them or giving them a shout out or wanting to do a collab, you know what I mean? Like wanting to build them up, you know, I never see her do anything like that. So that's why I'm like, well, what are you really doing? Like, you can't just talk about all of this stuff. There's the blue. Um, you can't just talk about all these things and do nothing. You know what I mean? So that's why I'm like, well, what is she doing? We don't even know. I mean, specifically, I think, hon, you can come in. <laughs> I, I think that it's just a whole lot of talk. Like, she's not really caring that much about the POC community because there's really nothing that she has to show for it. She isn't, could you close that door, hon? Yeah, sorry. She really hasn't, you know, been building up other influencers or anything. So I don't know. It's just so strange to me. And what she did was to a woman of color and she couldn't even apologize for that. You know what I mean? This kind of went to hell, <laughs> but I tried. I'm kind of bad at this inner corner business because I always get it like on my nose. Okay. Um, I think... Now, what did she do? She took the dark purple under the eye, which is what I am going to do. Maybe I will need a different brush here, though. Um, so you guys let me know how you feel about this, because I feel like if she's somebody that is known for speaking up about um, these issues, that maybe she should know that it isn't productive to just perpetrate all this other racist bullshit or have, you know, different stereotypes for different races and things like that. And some people still think that she should have apologized for her geisha comment, which I think she kind of did in her, it's not really an apology, apology kind of way. Oh, that's bad. You didn't come here for a makeup look. But anyway, I am, um, I still feel like she owes Paige an apology and I've thought that for so long. Like, I'm never going to be satisfied until she apologizes to Paige. It's just that ego, her attitude, the way that she treats, I mean, her, the way that she actually treats her her fans. You know, these, these are people that are just like, hey, what did you think about the whole Jared situation because he was making a mockery out of the Black Lives Matter movement, you know? I just feel like the way that she treats some of her fans... This did not go quite as well as I had hoped it would, but maybe it's because I'm not used to having that. No, it looks like pink eye, but with purple. But anyway, I am, <laughs> I'm going in with the uh, liquid cat suit in nudist peach. Not the best shade, but 
I'm definitely going to have to fix this up a bit. So like I said, I'm kind of trying to tread lightly about that because I I don't want to call her racist because I don't think that she was being racist. But um, I feel like if she wants to be this outspoken woman on these issues that she has to have a little bit more responsibility with the way that she handles herself on social media. That's all we really have to go on. I'm going in with that Milani blush with this Wet n Wild blush brush. I find her to be just kind of obnoxious. I don't... Oh, all of this is like falling out here. Okay. Um, I just don't think that she's even really like that genuine. I'm going to go in with the Gerard Cosmetics uh shade grace here at the end this is the starlet palette so for all of these reasons for what she did to Paige, for how she treats her fans for you know just acting so damn cocky i just i'm just kind of i'm just done not kind of i am done um she acts like she is this huge influencer, like, in makeup and stuff, and she very may well be. It's just that you can't say things like that and then expect not to have any type of consequences, you know? Of course, this is nowhere near as bad as other people, um, <laughs> other things people have done. I'm just saying for her, being somebody that brings race up a lot, I think it would be more productive if she were to not <laughs> talk about other races, maybe. Um, and I'd like to know what she does, you know, for the POC community. I'd love to see her highlight the micro-influencers in the POC community, like, once or twice a week. Or, like, well, she doesn't really upload that much. But, like, maybe once a month or something. I think it would be, like, really great. Um, I feel like she kind of picks and chooses what she's going to stand up for. Because some brands that she's affiliated with that have the same issues as other brands that she has gone on rants about she loves. So I really feel like she didn't talk about Jared because, you know, because they're, she's affiliated with Too Faced. And that's really the only reason why she hasn't really said anything. I think if it was anybody else, though, she would have been saying shit. She would have gone on a Twitter rant. And that's what's just kind of sad about the whole thing, you know? Um, I do think that she, I think that her voice is important, but if she could just kind of tone it down and maybe realize, like, think before she speaks, um, you know, make us aware, more aware of issues that the POC community faces. Don't just just yell racism at everything. Like, tell us. Get, make us aware in a way that shows that you have a little bit of dignity and respect. And I honestly think that when she saw that cake, she laughed about it because she seems like the type of bitch that would. So you guys let me know what you think. Um, I'm just done with her. I can't anymore. So let me know what you guys think down below. Thanks for watching. Subscribe if you feel like it. I'll have my Twitter link down below. If you're a small creator, I have a thread so that you can link your YouTube channel and I can put you in a video of the All Slay No Shade. And yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next video. Love and hugs. Bye.